these five tips are just generally gonna make you look better. So let's get started. Number one is using a concealer to lift specific areas on your face. Now what this does is it helps to actually brighten the area, but it also adds a lift to the face depending on how you've applied it and where you've applied it. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab hold of my concealer. This is the Rimmel the Multitasker Concealer in 060 Nude. Now I'm taking most of the product off of this sponge applicator, so I haven't got a whole load on here I've really kind of like scraped it clean on the inside of the tube pot whatever you want to call it so what I've done now is applied a really tiny bit there so it's almost like a little dot you don't even have to do a full line because I know sometimes when you see these like full lines you're like okay I'm just not going to get that right or I haven't got a steady hand or I don't know what direction I'm going in the easiest way to do it is just do a little dot and I'll explain when we start blending it how you can adjust it now the next area that I want to do this is here so I'm doing like little short lines you can do a dot whatever you feel comfortable with and just another little dot there now that dot there should really be I'd say roughly around the middle of the ear because if you can see here, we can easily join these two together if we wanted to, right? So you're kind of looking at kind of like going diagonal and it should end up kind of in the middle of your ear because if you go from the corner of your bottom lip and go upwards, you should kind of, that direction is the middle of the ear. So you want to kind of do a little dot there. Now that's all, um, that's the only place I'm going to apply it. I'm going to get the small side of my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush and I am basically going to press this. Don't worry about trying to kind of like create a specific line. What we're doing is just kind of like dragging it upwards a little bit. And you're gonna see that this is gonna really help to just add a bit of lift to the whole kind of like corner of the eye. And it's pretty insane how much of a difference it makes. See how that's now just lifted it? We're gonna do the same thing here. You wanna make sure that it doesn't look like just a line. So it is gonna kind of like just lift the area, but you're blending it into the rest of your face. And by the way, you can actually do this after your base is done, the same way I'm doing it. So can you see that, that we've got that really nice lift there too? Okay, now this side here is like really gonna help. You're gonna be really surprised. So what we're doing is we're going side to side like that, and then we're dragging down. So the sharpest part of this line should really be the upper part, which you're gonna see. Isn't that crazy? Like hopefully you guys can see it, but it just basically sharpens your whole kind of like cheekbone area and it helps to lift this area a little bit. And you don't even have to do so many lines, it's just three little dots we did. I mean, look at this, way more lifted. And then this is just kind of, so you've got a really nice lift there. I'm gonna be doing this on one side, by the way, because I really want you to see the other side. The next tip, is applying a orange blush but on your eyes. So I'm gonna be using my NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in Summer Breeze, an amazing orangey kind of like, just an orangey blush, but it's not overly orange. It's like a really nice kind of warm orange. So I'm gonna be using my Refa, again, don't know how to pronounce this, pronounce, pronounce. I can't even pronounce pronounce. It's, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's R-E-P-H-R, and I'm using the 15 brush. Links are in my description. So I'm gonna basically go into this color. Now, the reason this is a tip is because if you use an orange along the upper lid, what that does is it actually helps to cancel out the blue as well. So if you have any kind of like darkness on the eyes, this is really gonna help to just kind of like cancel that blue out, cancel that darkness out and help to kind of like take your attention away from it. It neutralizes the blue shade. Hence why we sometimes use orange color corrector on dark circles. So it's a similar kind of theory, but we're using it as an eyeshadow. But ultimately you don't have to create a full on orange eyeshadow look. I'm just taking off the excess on the back of my hand. Now what I'm looking to do is just do like a wash of color. Because sometimes we're pretty capable of covering those dark circles on the under eye area. But what happens is we also have that darkness on the lid. And if you are more tan skin, then you can kind of suffer with that a bit more. Like the darker your skin tone, the more likely I think you are to suffer with like severe darkness around the kind of eyelid area. So what I'm doing is just literally brushing this very lightly along the eyelid area. And while I do this, I've got a little message for you. 
If you feel like you're getting value from this video, then please do hit the thumbs up button because it genuinely does help my channel out a lot and I truly appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button so that you're notified every time a new video drops. And don't forget, I'm on all of the social media platforms listed below. They're also in my description along with links and also some amazing discount codes from my favorite makeup brands just for you. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's get back to this video. So we're still blending this over. And can you see that it's not a lot, it's really subtle, but it just adds this really pretty kind of color. This is great if you wanna kind of wear an eyeshadow, but you don't want it to look like, oh, she's got eyeshadow on. So it's a very, very subtle color, pop of color to the eye that can really just help to, it just makes everything look better, doesn't it? Look at that, it's so nice. So I would say this is a really good option if you feel tired and you feel like you're looking tired. Using an orange or tangerine kind of like terracotta blush on your eyes is really gonna help to kind of like counteract that tired look. So I would highly recommend that. Now the next tip is using a dark brown eye pencil on your upper lash line, but tight lining. This makes all the difference because if you don't wanna wear eyeliner, if you don't want a full on wing, but you still want to kind of enhance your eyes without it looking like, okay, she's got eyeshadow on, she's got eyeliner on, then this is what I would suggest doing. You wanna use a pencil which is very easy to transfer onto the lid so you're not pressing too hard. So more of a cardinal kind of soft pencil. The one that I'm using is the Rommel Scandal Eyes Exaggerate Eye Definer in chocolate brown 002. So all I'm gonna do is get another brush which is my Sigma Beauty L04 brush. Even though this says detailed lip brush, you can use it for anything. This is absolutely amazing for tight lining on the lashes. Now what I'm gonna do is get this pencil, I've got my brush ready, and I'm gonna basically just go right into the lashes. So I'm really focusing and drawing dots in between my lashes. And you can either stick to just the outer corner or you can go all the way across. You've really got to make sure you get it in the root of the lash though, right? So I'm just drawing tiny dots, like pressing tiny dots. And I'm not worried about flick. Now that I've done that, you can probably see it's all, it already kind of like looks quite defined there. Now what you want to do is get your brush, there's nothing on this, and you really want to kind of go back and forth, but into the lashes. So you're not trying to kind of like smudge outwards or anything. I usually just close my eye and do it because I can really feel where the brush is going. It's just, just about kind of almost getting those dots to connect. But all you're doing is focusing on getting that brush right into the root of the lash, not above it. That in itself has helped to, to, to <laughs> help to, 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 helped to define the lash line. And when you put your mascara on, your lash is gonna look thicker. Let's go ahead and use a mascara to finish that kind of like trick off. I'm using my Maybelline Sky High mascara because it's just such a good mascara. And I'm just gonna take this through the lashes and you're gonna see, I'm not even taking this through the root of the lash, by the way. I am literally just taking this from kind of like, just past the root. I'm not jiggling it around into the root at all. I am just taking this through the lashes as normal, not focusing on the root. It's actually not touching the root of my lash at all. And you're gonna see just how much this trick really helps to define the root of your lash without you feeling like you have to go right into the root. And it defines your eyes so nicely, look at that. Such a difference. The next trick that I have for you is to apply a kind of medium, light to medium brown, depending on your skin color, to your lower lash line. Now, something that happens quite frequently to people who do kind of use concealer on the under eye area or like a medium to full coverage base is that you apply it quite close to the lower lashes. And I understand that you may already know that if you apply it a little bit further away from the root of your lash, it doesn't look as kind of cakey and heavy, but sometimes you can't help it. It happens to me too that sometimes I've just gone too far up there and then I'm like, okay. But there is something that you can do to help Help just kind of like bring it down a level and make it look not so kind of like really close to your lashes and to soften the area a bit, enhance your eyes a bit without it looking like you've actually applied any kind of eyeshadow or anything. Now the trick is to use a taupe or kind of like I said, light to medium brown depending on your skin color eyeshadow on your lower lash line. Now what this does, it actually helps to just bring the real look of your skin around your eyes out so it doesn't look like you've masked the entire area. You can use a matte finish eyeshadow for this or you could use something with a bit of sparkle in there like shimmer, it's fine, it's completely up to you. Or you could use a bronzer. Now I'm gonna use a bronzer and show you exactly how I do this. I use the Sigma E30 brush, don't forget you do have a discount called discount called 
Like, what is wrong with me, I swear? I think it's just generally filming every other day and I just, there's so much coming out of my mouth. It's just like, I struggle to sometimes say certain words. I do have a discount code for you. And sometimes I feel like I need to speak slowly maybe, but then I just feel like I'm so impatient. It's just like, just get it out. Anyway, Sigma Beauty, Discount code is Nina Ubi 10 This brush is the E30 brush. I'm gonna go into my bronzer here. This bronzer is my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear matte bronzer in 400 tan. All I'm gonna do, I took a little bit of this in here, take it off on the back of your hand because it's quite a lot, quite a lot of pigment. And because this is a bronzer, it's gonna really help to just stop that area from looking so kind of white underneath. You wanna go right into your lower lashes. Don't focus on trying to make it really obvious. You actually wanna stop before you can see an obvious difference. So before you can end up getting a line there of like brown, you really wanna stop at that point. There you go. I think that's good enough. I might just go a little bit more so that you guys can really see it. But that basically will stop it from looking so kind of mask-like. Look at the difference now. It makes such a difference, right? The next tip is for the lip area. Now, I haven't got anything on my lips. This is old school, but I'm telling you it works. It is so, so good. We're gonna get a bit of concealer. I'm just gonna get my multitasker from Romel again. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer. You can apply less than this. Doesn't have to be as much. Really take this over the lips. More so, it's about going over the lip line. And you get the cleanest lip line. I don't have any lips right now. Now what you wanna do is get a little bit of powder. You are basically concealing, setting, lining. That's the trick for your lips if you want it to last all day. So we've got some concealer on. You've got to get a concealer which is kind of like a matte finish, so not something which is like super fluid and super glowy because you want it to last all day. Now we're going to get a powder. I'm just using my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop powder in banana. Dusting it over. We're going to get the Max Factor Color Elixir Lip Liner in 010 Desert Sand. And now we're going to line. I'm going for a bold lip which is why I'm kind of going for a harsh lip line because usually I kind of blend it, buff it in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in 335 Hustler. When I picked this up, I was like not that into it and then I just tried it and I was like, wow, this is amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And I am gonna blot this, because it looks even better then. Okay, I'm gonna get my tissue. How nice is this lip color? The minute I blot it, it just transforms in. It looks amazing. When I first put it on, I was like, what is this? This is just really kind of like, you know, it's just a basic kind of shiny lip color. But the minute you blot it and it's matte, it's so nice. It's such a nice color. And you don't even need a lot on the rest of your face. So that's why I'm absolutely loving this lip color. And it's not actually as dark and in your face as what it is when you first apply it. And when I first applied it, I was kind of like, okay, this is just kind of a brick red and that's about it. But the minute I blot it and the color kind of just comes through a little bit more it just looks so nice it's like this really nice warm red and i think it's going to suit everyone so yeah that is basically a combination of all my tips for today when it comes to making yourself look better with makeup makeup that does kind of just enhance your features and little tricks here and there that people won't be able to obviously see what you've done but they know there's something different and it looks good and it's better than your day-to-day -day makeup so i really do hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's something that you guys are going to take away from and try it out yourself let me know your thoughts i'd love to know and let me know what you think of this lip color i really like it and yeah you can see the difference like look at this it just looks a bit kind of like it looks good on its own anyway because it's pretty plain and simple but I just feel like there's, you know, these different tips don't have to be done together, but they really do take it up a notch when it comes to your features. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and you take away whatever you want to take away from it and incorporate it into your own makeup routine. Wherever you are in the world, I'm sending you loads of love. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.